Okay, so we're going to look at the electromagnets based on what was covered in the exam. Now, the first thing to notice, we've got our voltage. Okay, so we've got a battery pack. And when I complete my circuit, I'm going to plug it into the 6 volts. And then you can see here, we've got 0 volts plugged in at that, at that end. Now, looking on the actual electromagnet side of things, let me get that in the picture. Okay, so to complete the circuit, you've got your wire which is a complete circuit and you've got your windings okay now if I switch this on let's give it a go uh, we should get an electromagnet so if I put that on and then to test it get a paper clip put it on there and you can see we've got one paper clip okay now I tried this a moment ago if I try and put another one it's just not strong enough okay so it's going to unplug like so now what we've got we've got 20 windings and I started with that because rather than starting with 5 or 10 because 5 or 10 was just too weak and I wasn't getting any, any electromagnetism not strong enough okay now in the exam you've got your independent and your de dependent variable so what I've done I started off with 20 on the coil okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to wind put another 10 on I'm going to go up in tens and try that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, like so. Hopefully it'll stay on. Okay, so there's my other ten. Before I connect it, so I've got my data. And I said I started off with 20 windings and I had one paper clip. Now I'm going to go to 30 and then we're going to measure. Now, when you talk about independent and dependent variable, okay, so I'll just try and bring that in. Now, if I'm changing the number of coils, so I went from 20 to 30, now that's a good indication that is my independent variable. The number of paper clips which can be magnetized and held by the electromagnet, well, that's a good idea, you know, that's kind of indicating that's going to be my uh, dependent variable and the one I'm going to measure. All right? So we've increased, we've gone from 20 windings to 30 windings. So we'll put them on. And so we've got a magnet, feels a bit stronger that did. So we've got two, three. Okay, I'm struggling to get the third on there. Okay, so that's my results. Now, it's really important that every time you finish, you disconnect because the wire will get warm. Okay, so, and then populate my data. So I have two paper clips. And I'm going to make another change, and I'm going to go to 40 windings. So, let's push this on. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, like so. Okay, so I've got my windings on. I'm going to make it go live with a voltage. So the voltage is still the same, six volts. So therefore, that's a control variable. I'm using the same paper clips. So that's another control variable, the same size, same type. Still struggling for that third one. There we go. So we did get it. And so not quite getting there. So these they get that temporary magnetism induced. But with an electromagnet we can turn it off. So we've got three. Turn it off and they drop off. Okay. Okay, we'll do one more. See how we get on. So I get my data. So I've got three. And you can see the data. So 1, 2, 3, 20, 30, 40, they're, they're looking directly proportional as well. So, let's put that loop back on. Clip that a little bit there. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Plug him on. Get the voltage, pushing the current, 
One. Look how strong that is now. Two. Three. Four. Come on, let's get it. Four. Oh, it's not going to have it. Okay, one more try. Okay, so that stayed on three. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to try and get another. So I'm going to put another ten on there. So one, two, three. Okay, I'm running out of wire this side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now on fifty windings. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to try and keep the windings on the magnet, on the sorry, on the iron core. I don't think I mentioned that actually, which is really important. So an iron core is a magnetic material. So put that onto there. Staying on. Let's try that. So one, two, three, four. It's not getting it. So maybe that's the capacity. Uh, maybe we've reached a limit there. Okay, but you get the idea. Right, switch that off. 